Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another episode of Ultimate Alchemy Exam. Uh, I want to say Ultimate Academy for some reason now. But everything's going good. Um, buffers are still holding. And since last episode, I've added in this guy here. Which I was completely on the wrong tangent last episode. This mutated grass that I need is made with an eerie mask and dirt. Eight of them. And then this stuff you just take, put next to a pure daisy and it turns into infused. So, easy enough. Say I want one of these though. There we go. Puts down the block. Wait a minute. Or less. There it goes. And I forgot that this is a new wand. I had it in just fast mode instead of faster or fastest. In fastest mode, it makes a huge difference. I mean, huge difference. So, then uh, this is my dirt machine set up again. Because the process I had for making dirt was not cutting it. Turning potatoes into dirt, and it just was not, not able to keep up. So what do we have going on here is water's coming in, same with fertilizer and gravel, it's turning into water life, which is going over to the stills, water life to liquid dirt, and then getting pumped into here, and, you know, turns out that I probably need a second carpenter, oh well, and this guy's turning gravel into dirt, so, all in all, pretty damn easy, this guy's a bust, he's not getting apples, I have gotten a grand total of... Tree. Or sorry, two. Two apples. One of which I got myself by taking out a tree because I had his planting radius set up too far. Yeah. Not ideal. I may just make a I mean like a paper lumber axe and just put it into mechanical use or something. I don't know. Except for the fact that there's no quick leaf decay in this pack. So that's where he does excel. But he's been running for like an hour now, and he's gotten one apple by himself. But, but the best I can do for automated apples until I can get access to forestry for uh, automated farms, which require emeralds. Yay! Frickin' emeralds, man. So, go we'll check on our botania setup. Which you'll notice there's a lot more flowers around here. Got more mana spreaders. Ian, thanks. Um, okay, I hooked up a network receiver and an interface. This guy's just keeping coal here, pumping it into the resonator, which is bringing it red coal, and in turn getting dropped on a fresh plate. Same cycle we had before, but uh, yeah, I hope it's gonna work. Looks like it's keeping up somewhat, and I do have you know five stacks here as a buffer, so. As long as I don't horse around with the wand of acceleration, we're good. All right, but not quite enough mana yet. Damn, I was hoping it would be. So I went ahead and started the episode when I did. But I've got my agglomeration plate here. Um, for now, make a couple sparks, I guess. Five sparks should work. There's a max range to sparks, but I think... Oh, you don't like that, huh? And it got picked back up and back into the system it goes. Oh, well. Um... Frick. Oh well. More than one we're skinning cat. Which is a horrible, horrible saying when you get down to it. Alright, so I'm going to drop a mana pool here. And drop another one. Say actually. There's one to put my 
uh, Elven Gateway right here. So I'm going to need to have a pool. Here looks good, I guess. And then here. And for now, you guys are definitely getting sparks. And a couple Natura Pylons. There's these guys. Somewhat cheap. A Terra Steel Nuggets. Mana Pylon, Mana Pylons, Mana Diamonds. So, somewhat cheap. I prefer the old pylons. They really look like StarCraft. And let's see. Alright, well, back here. What are you... You're like... Okay, what? Okay, it's just... Yeah, there was a choice. And I apparently I chose wrong. But... Um... Crap. As soon as I created this mod, I decided to add a weird game mechanic in the form of rap. I don't really want to know what it does. Probably something bad. Okay. Uh, how about we just go here instead? And... Portal to Alfheim. Alright, that's Gateway Core. Easy enough. Visualize. There. All right now, the living wood, lib living. There we go. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, let's go with glimmering. Three of you. I'm gonna put that extra mana thing away. And one of you. Elven Gateway Core. And we'll just put that there so I got something to place against. Boom. Structure complete. Alright, I just need to right click on that thing. Okay, I'm just making sure that I didn't screw up somehow. Which, not to say that I hadn't, but... Go check on... Where'd my wand go? Check on this mana pool. Because I need half a pool. I am, like, right there. Okay. This is so much faster now. I mean, this is four times faster than it was. Alright, so... Search up mana. Mana Pearl, Mana Diamond, Mana Steel. Okay, make sure I'm centered here. Drop them onto there. It's going to do this. I tried making one earlier off camera, and I jumped the gun too much, and those items actually despawned before it could turn into Terra Steel. As horrible as that is, those will despawn while they're on the plate. And it's like, are you kidding me? But hopefully. Didn't take much longer. There it goes. Because I need a lot of Terra Steel Nuggets for what I'm going to do next. And that would be... Rune of Balance. Takes two per go. So put those in there. And... Oh, it's because I have all this on me. There we go. Eight of them. Should be enough to get... At least somewhat started in Thomcraft. At least, you know, a little bit. A smidgen. Alright, and you are... You're right there. Okay. So, grab a spark now. Yoink. This actually may be too far away for that spark on the pool over there to reach. Oh, well. Okay, Sarah. And actually, I'm going to break these pylons real quick. Because. Uh, let's see, I don't need that. Okay, so from tablet to pool. Alright, so 
I'm going to drain about half the tablet out into this pool and the other half into the other pool. You're not sharing, are you? No, okay. Um, close to half. I wish there was an easier way to tell in picking it back up, but... Go ahead and kind of do that number. Quarter. Alright. I still have this pool over here set up to and man it into into the tablet. Right? You are? Yep. Pool to tablet. There we go. And we'll let this thing keep going. Uh, you. Actually. Can I have that back, please? Thank you. Yeah, you're, uh, you're more than good right now. Alright, now here's hoping it doesn't take a full quarter of a pool each to... out of each of those to open this up. Pylons are necessary, but they make it hard to get the, uh, mana tablet into it, so... All right, here goes nothing. World calling. Nice. All right, so sending power. Oh, good lord, look at all the shards. <laughs> nice. We get one of each per go. That's that's awesome. And can I sneak through here? Okay, so it takes about an eighth of the pool. All right, so I think we're we're okay for now. Uh, Man of Steel. Get some Elementium, I guess. Oh, what? Two to one? What? Really? Yep, two to one. So I wasted one of those Man of Steel too. All right, well, I guess that works. Um, iron. Give me like a stack of iron ingots. Oh, there's enough for 12, so that'll be six more elementium. I guess that'll work for right now. I like popcorn though. All right, so I have eight elementium, which one of the things I can do is make a thunder collar eventually. I mean, it's terra steel though, right? Yeah. Terra blade, come on, those things are awesome. Uh, I can make the Globetrotter Sash if I get some Gaia Spirits. I can make a Star Collar instead if I get some Inter-Air, which I can make. Dragonstone, which is a Mana Diamond. Okay. Uh, Starfield Creator. So those things are fun. Elven Mana Spreaders. That might not be a bad idea. So I just need some Dream Wood, which is some Living Wood. Oops. Just grab like two stacks of that and a stack of living rock. I don't think that really does anything. Nope, it just it goes to bay. So, but yeah, just like popcorn. I love it. That is a lot of elven wood. stack and a half out of everything. So I have these crystals now, which hey, I can pulverize. But just pulverizer too. So I could set up another pulverizer just for those. Um, probably gonna not do that quite yet. And For now, we're just going to do one of each, get a couple of crystals. Alright, one of you, and we'll just start working on that now. Because the thing I need to do, and actually, luckily, it's nighttime. So, we're just going to grab some of this. Are you done with your... Oh, you are. Okay, we can have some flex crystals now. Stutter.
I remember where my bed is. Over here, yeah. One thing I have not done yet. <laughs> Make a bedroom. Oh, are you, uh... Yeah, I put a lot of coal in there. Um, let's see. I did not... Okay, I did not get the thing, though. Um, I'm supposed to get a book. And Crescent Hammer, please. Thank you. And I guess we can go ahead and plop this thing down. Over here? Oh, let's not. This thing is, like, so... You know what? You can sit there, and you can just get power from this coal generator. Seems like it doesn't do a whole lot. I have enough power to keep everything basically running. But, yeah. Not enough to, to run everything all the time. Especially that damn arc furnace. Was it deleting those? Oh, I'll look at my, my uh, V's here as soon as I get this done. Or is that just like a graphical glitch? I hope it's just a graphical glitch. All right, done. So, oops. It did. It actually deleted some out. I've, well, I have 20 Terra. How'd I get? Oh, because. What? How'd I get 20? I only have 12 Perdicio. And I have 14 Ordo. And I have 18. How did I get extras? <clears throat> this just gives two. It gives three if I give it, you know, tectonic petrothium. It didn't delete them, it changed them. Well, that's interesting. Okay, let's try sleeping again tonight with every crystal in my inventory. How are you doing? You're draining out pretty decently, yours. Hmm, okay, or not. Okay, I thought without the pylons you would die. Thank you. It's gonna take a lot of mana to start it back up in the future, but it'll work. I just don't want it running all the time because it's gonna drain all the mana over there. And we're already up to eighth of a pool, so that works. All right. Um. Okay, so let's grab a little bit of Salus Mundus. Got 23 of it. That's not bad. And a bookcase or bookshelf. I tried this once and it didn't work. Nothing. See? Oh, and I gotta wait. It's noon. Uh. Alright, let's check out my dirt progress here. Oh, and I also made the Arcane and Source later. Which I have an Infinity Book sitting there. But I needed it for Silk Touch so I can make the Silk Touch upgrade. Hmm. My Apple situation. Just two. Oh. Oh, I 
Okay. Didn't change my video, it looked like. But, uh... Yeah. I just, uh, accidentally resized my window. Is there, like, a Thalmanomicon recipe, then? Nope. Didn't even show Sailor's Mundus on a bookshelf. Oh. So, lovely. Uh, let's grab some tables, I guess. They need to make an arcane workbench. Is that a thing I can do, maybe? No. No, it's not. Get out of my hot bar. Oh, that's... Freaking annoying is what it is. Okay, what else can I make with Elementium? Put a slime in a jar. Slime in a bottle. Let's see find slime trunks, which is completely useless in this pack. Bark Tinkerer. Hmm. Okay. Ring of Far Reach. Oh, I should have tossed my freaking book through the portal before I closed it. Greater Fairy Ring. Gaia Pion. Extrapolated Bucket. Elementium Nuggets. And Lens Tripwire. Blue Gold Tiara. That lets you fly, pretty much. Probably some other things too, but lights the the main thing I remember. Elementium sword, 120 durability. That's not bad, really. Cheers. Uh, armor, which 10% less mana cost on mana tools and rods. And for pixies to apply potion effects. Pretty low durability armor though. Holy crap! It's only 288. Conjuration Catalyst. Ah, there we go. Black Hole Talisman. And the World Shaperless Astrolabe. Alright. What can I use my Cilium for? Alright. Mushroom Soup. That was it, right? And a Shroom Farm. So I can use it to make Mushroom Soup. It takes a whole bucket. And I get... But it takes 20 of my Cilium to make one Mushroom. Eek. But that's kind of it, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could put my psyllium down. But... Uh, where is it? Okay. Getting towards afternoon. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Now, is it not going to cut those trees down? It's not, is it? What in the world? It can plant there without a problem. You just freaking planted a tree right where you went down at. All right, hey. Hey. No. Stop. Right next to yourself, that's it. I wasn't too worried about these because I thought it would, you know, still take... You know, cut them down, but no, apparently it just freaking takes the leaves off. All right, so any chance of like two apples? Nothing. Okay. Make sure I didn't leave a hovering block. I hate those. All right, so still have no idea how Steve Scars works. Can I get an efficiency modifier for my drill? I think I can make the tier one. Uh, let's see, B dogment one done. All right, well, I still haven't taken down my old portal, which I'm not going to do it on camera, but speed upgrade would be nice. You can have that. That, uh, the tables I'll keep for now. Diamonds and iron can go away. Oh, it's 157,000 already. This is still just like barely holding on. Yeah. The 
This can't even keep one going, let alone four. Alright. Wrestling. That was a mistake. Try again when I know what I'm doing more. Probably didn't help that I augmented the crap out of those engines. Of the dynamos. Make a T there. And load up the snowballs. You know, the killing time is the worst part. What do you do? I don't know. Alright, let's put some stuff away. Elementum can go, I guess. So that. That. Hopper can go. Um. We can get started on the platinum stuff, but. I want more of a buffer of nickel first before I start that. The drawers are halfway full now, which is good news. But. But. It takes a full block of nickel to make one platinum ore. Or no, it's actually... Oh, what was it? Platinum ingot. Uh, let's see. Stone furnace. Flux anodizer. No. Induction smelter. Which, if I have, like, cinnabar with nickel, I'll get a platinum. I actually have to sit down and like automate Cinnabar, which I could do actually. Not all that difficult. Uh, let's see. Pyro Concentrator will get me extra nickel. It'll give me almost half of it back with Pyro Concentrator. That's actually not a terrible thing to consider then. Hmm. Alright, but pulverized nickel. Got a 10% chance of getting it from a crusher. Whatever I pulverize nickel ore. 10% chance in a pulverizer. Not petrothium does nothing to help that. Uh, centrifugal separator. 15% in a uh, actually distance crusher though. And yeah, 10%. Yeah. And nighttime. Cool. So for every buck, block of 10 I go through. Better freaking work this time. I was gonna have to look into the. Oh no no no! Get out! I think I know the problem. There we go. I didn't actually pick up the item. I just put it straight into my inventory. There we go. Now I have the book, which basically the book just teaches you how to make Salus Mundus, which is this stuff here. And, oof, Bamanomicon. Now, I just realized something else. Uh, let's go ahead and make our arcane workbench, so I'm going to need a little more Salus. Which be, is it not a table? Uh, arcane. Arcane, workbench. Really now? Quite delicate. Sprinkling on a mundane crafting table. Okay. Yep. Clear. Thank you. The reason I was thinking it was on a table, but no. On... One of those. Which just makes sense. Oof. Alright, completed. I need an observation. I need a thermometer. Which is one of every crystal, four gold, and a glass pane. I only have a couple thousand more gold to go. Alright, so let's put these things in there. Thermometer. I am in an area of extremely high. Extremely high viz. 290 right now, and that's with 25 flux. Holy crap. Can 
Can I just scan? Yes, I can. Holy crap. In the drawer controller, and you get a lot of stuff. Hey, I got observation. Fundamentals. Now, discover alchemy. I need to make a crucible. All right. So, I think... Um... I do have a cauldron, which for now we're just going to do that, and I have no sailors on me, damn it. Oof. Make a cauldron, complete. Need to visit low steps, highest peaks. You discover Aram and Precantadio. One other thing I can do, though. I, yeah. The TM I don't really need right now. Although, do I have inventory scan? I don't have inventory scanning. Oh. Oh, Tema. You're breaking my heart. I would love to have, uh, Thalmic, uh, Thalmic Grid or whatever it's called. And all the things. Yeah, I made solar and lunar panels. I don't know if I pointed that out on camera or not. Huh. Um. I don't know why you're stuck showing aspects. You do that? No, just that one. Hmm. Okay, day then. Hey, you don't have enough mana for what I need. Over here, you should be able to jumpstart that portal up. Because uh, it was like a little brother or something like that. I remember seeing this before. I could totally not cry. Actually, I can make that. It was Thomic Cheat Sheet or something like that, right? Thomcraft Alchemy Cheat Sheet. Toss a piece of paper into the Elven Trade Portal. Craft like a stack of paper, would you? Thank you. I'm going to need one of those there. Uh, scribing tools. I uh, can use regular glass balls, right? All right. There we go, and black pigment. Make a few of those. Describing tools. A little broader. you're done and I just need one more paper I'm not sure what the little brother is but I really want to find out so are there any uses for the Lamacon now Lamacon. aspect compound oh that's handy as hell this plus this equals this all right um Here, fill up. And get you up to close to a quarter, we should be okay for now. Thank you. Come on. And you can go in there as well. Alright, so we're going to need some Natura pylons. There and there. Give this a whack. Toss that into there. Get that back. And while I'm here, toss the book in there. Get that back. Elven edition. Um. Let's see. Uses. 
Okay, how about we look at Elementium? Go. Elven trade, done. Here we go. Dreamwood, Elementium blocks, Fairy Dust, Dragonstone. The Elven Quartz? Yep. Mana Glass to Alf Glass. Iron to Iron. Hmm. Yeah, no. Don't trust that. And, okay. So we're good now. Yep. I click this. Research complete. Maybe Thaumatorium research and its requisites. Alright. Base alchemy, hedge alchemy, infusion, proof smelting, too. God. There's kind of a whole lot of things popping up in the right hand corner. Alright, so strange dreams can go away, infinity book can go away. Let's look at our Thaumonomicon now. Okay, discovering alchemy, artifice is done, infusion's done. Got a bunch of this done. Awesome. Yeah, that gave me a bit of a jump start there. Infernal Furnace. And then a little bit of Arcane Infusion. Alright, cool. Arcane Paving Stones, just a little scribe it. Cloud Stepper Ring. Somebody scribe it. Reducing falling damage, additionally won't tear puff of air when they jump. Basically gives you double jump. Oh, that's cool. Infusion boosting. A band of curiosity, burn charms. All right, uh, artifice. So I still need to unlock Oromancy stuff, huh? All right, bring up F three. You go hang out around like lava layer or lower, I think. Uh, how about like there it is? Oh, and Dryo basics. <laughs> All right, well, that's not quite it. Um, hang out right there. there it goes. Visit a deep and dark depths, and I have learned much. There we go. Complete this. B Resonator and Caster's Gauntlet. All right, cool. Thing is, I'm gonna need a ton of quartz. Hmm. So I'm trying to think of how I'm gonna. Well, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I can in this chunk here. I can set up an excavator and get a whole bunch of quartzite, which is basically nether quartz. Um, do I have my... There we go. So, processing, uh, reviewing resources. Um, ores, mineral deposits. Here we go. Bauxite, Cassiterite, that's just tin. Coal, copper, galena, gold, iron. Coal might be worth it too. Lapis would definitely be nice. Although I don't really need it anymore. Magnetite, it's iron gold. A nickel vein would be amazing actually. 5% platinum ore. If I can find a platinum vein, holy crap. Oh man, I hate when I do that. All right, uh, metal deposits. Excellent, right clicked. Platinum vein, though, would be 50% platinum ore. Dimension 1 is the end. Pyrite is iron and sulfur. Okay. Quartzite, 100% nether quartz ore. I did find a uranium vein. There's a whole bunch of lead. Or even more uranium. All right. Drawing of a one-legged puppy. Oh, no. There are teardrops. 
That's what they mean by okay. Right click to totally not cry. There are teardrops. All right, so the only thing I have a question about now, okay, uses for these, is how do I get sweat drenched cloth? Uh, let's see, this guy requires those so like four rotten flesh each. I don't have to go to the part of the Thomcrest I thought. Hmm. Yeah, I learned. Get that in there. You don't love it? You're good on lava for now. Okay. Still have this little bit of Euphorium in there. All right. And yoink. Regulated blood. Oop. Into the chest you go. Three hundred twenty. I'm cooking up the last of the rotten flesh right now. That actually smelts up pretty quick too. Do 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 do. Number three and number four. Now, I like the nice guy with this resource pack too. It is very very populated. And the server is actually running really nice. You can see there's no bouncing or skipping or anything. Cool. All right. So. Ooh, look. Regulated blood drop. Health boost. That's not a bad idea, actually. Um, <laughs> blank labels. Nice. Paper wealth. The sweat drenched cloth is all I'm really curious about now. There's no recipe at all associated with it. Okay, so I need to make that thing. Don't worry about that later. Theory crafting, I need a research table. Which, if I put these guys here, that is a research table. All right. I can complete that. And then Celestial Observation, go ahead and complete that. We're going to need another Scribing Tools now. And this recipe. Amount of glass bottles, really? Oh, boy. And I'm going to need that paper. And then get a couple more stacks going. So what I can do with this is grab my thermometer. And each of the quadrants, and then we're gonna scan the moon, and we get all sorts of celestial notes and stuff on it, which is useful for research. That thing takes up most of the screen, holy crap. That sword. So, I'm going to put that away for now. There are teardrops. What else can be used for? Empowering gas tears. Okay. Ah, oh, this though. Sweat drenched cloth. Single tear shed by a person feeling deep sadness. Oh, but of course, you are far too strong, brave, and tough to ever cry. Oh, there was that drawing of a one legged puppy. That's a nice little hint in there. I didn't even notice that. This has nothing. I mean, not even a, an information tab on there. Um. Chanted fabric, maybe? And one, two, three, four. I have to make it in this thing. I don't have Thalmic J, uh, Thalmic Grid installed. Okay, 
Yeah, that's about the only fabric I know of, right? Uh, how about cloth, right? Oh, well, let's see. Right click to cool off. Seriously? Sweat drenched cloth. <laughs> uh, paper wealth. So what I can now do is come over to I put it away in my system, didn't I? Uh there it goes. Rather crafting grid. Yep. Gym cast. Swap you down to there. Put paper money into here. And now we wait. Have a quick drink of tea while we're at it. Oh, good lord. That's going to take forever in a day to melt up, isn't it? Um, okay. Uh, paper money uses. I can magma crucible it too. Hmm. That's an idea. That'll get me a lot of emeralds. Eventually. That's going to require another dedicated magma crucible, though. Oh, I've got so many machines going right now. It's not even funny. Oh, I can probably take this system down for now. And, because I'll be getting crude oil soon. And I still haven't even built my damn reactor. But especially if I fire up an excavator, I'm going to want the reactor. Empowerer might be a good next step, too. Empower 10. Jesus. Depends on how many recipes there are. Would you hurry up? God. Taking forever. Thank you. And... Do, 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 do. Takes a while to cool, too. And I saw my stuff on me. There. There we go. Solar. And, like, scan all the things. There we go. Putting like that. This is going to be my life for a little while here. Yeah, scan some water. Sweet. All right. Yeah, there's so many more things to scan here. I'm not going to worry about it. But let's end off the episode with... Making a casting plate. Copy paste gadget. That'd be nice. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can start making power cells. Finally. Start making dimensional shards, too. Look at that. And. Energy pylons. Yeah, let's start making those. Is there a use for emerald gears? No, okay. I need to melt them down. All right. Numismatic press. Yeah, I had none of that. Okay, so I need a couple electron plates. Okay, so servo. Any of our gear. And grab a couple of those and run them to our compactor over here. Drink.
Hmm. Trying to decide if I want to try the uh, the other dynamos out, or I might just say screw it and go for the big guns when it comes to power gen. Uh, let's put the enchant fabric away for now. Go. Keep the paper on me. But now with this numismatic press, I can make uh, Electrum, no. Constantin. Bronze coins. <laughs> Old coins. Old coins make making paper money even easier. Also, they do 40,000 RF or 40,000 RF in a uh, numismatic, numismatic dynamo. Requires currency. I'm not sure if that would be worth it or not. Uh, we get three of them for 4,000. They generate 120,000 total. So, uh, definitely less power going into them than coming out. But, neither here nor there. What am I missing? Okay, copper gears. But I'm going to uh, get some emeralds, you know, started up here. And I shall see you next time. Till then, sign signing out. Have fun. 